Hey guys, what's up? My name is Rain Lee and welcome to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and turn on notifications and if you're returning, thanks for coming back and hit that like button. So yeah, today I'm gonna be talking about how beautiful and diverse Malaysia is. First, I'm gonna start off with a bit of story time. So yeah. Well, if you guys don't know, like most Malaysians can speak English but their accent differs like I don't know for me this is my case this is my story so yeah so last week there was this British lady she was behind me in the line in the supermarket and she asked me excuse me do you know where the washroom is and I was like yeah just go straight down make a left turn and your washroom will be on the right and the next moment my friend called me on the phone and I was like hello yeah so where you want to park tomorrow mama ah? okay yeah okay so on ta okay bye and then the British woman was just like, Wow, that's amazing how you change accent so fast. And I'm like, What? I was so confused. And I didn't even realize I changed my accent. So yeah, I do it spontaneously without realizing it. Like, I have three types of English accents. My first type is when I'm speaking to my friends and family. I speak like this lah. I jumpo a bit of bahasa inside, chan chan yi den hua yi, chan pu chan ting chui, then hua pong bang tan pu hokkien wei, and de ju wei also, because my family is both hokkien and de ju, okay? And also per anakan, so jumpo bahasa per anakan dalam la, uh, okay? Bahasa per anakan is basically like DM but it's a bit different. So that's how I speak with my friends and family, and how I speak with authority figures that's type 2 of my English accent so I will speak in all formal words that are found in Malaysian English dictionaries and as well as the Oxford dictionary and the third type of English is when I start speaking like that so this is how I speak when I speak to foreigners who aren't Malaysian and who I don't really know that well and this is how I spoke to my teachers so yeah I don't know where I got this accent from I don't know where I derived it from but my guess it's it comes from like I don't know so I went to a Canadian high school in grade 12 and I also watched a lot of Canadian vloggers youtubers and a lot of Canadian TV series like life with boys I don't really watch a lot of American TV series like I don't know, I watch a lot of Canadian TV series mostly produced by CBS yeah. and there was like a TV channel in Malaysia that showcased a lot of the Canadian programs so I guess I picked this accent up from there but it's not really accurate like there's still a hint that I'm Malaysian but people are just surprised at how I switch between accents and yeah that's that's not the end of my story yeah one more tip all my international friends are so surprised at the fact that I don't even need to pause when I switch between languages like okay so I'm gonna start speaking the English first and suddenly pause but of course inside I will add a bit of English words inside they're just amazed because when they speak in Korean or Japanese they have to pause before switching between languages but saya tak payah buat itu Saya terus cakap je. Yeah. I just switched from English to Bahasa Malaysia without pausing for even a second. And when they saw, like, me and my Malaysian friends, we speak a mixture of English, Malay, and Mandarin. When they just saw us switching languages, they were so amazed at that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the end of my story, and it's on to the things I think are amazing about Malaysia. So, number one, we are such a multicultural country, but we are all one country. So we're all Malaysians, but some of us are ethnic Chinese, some ethnic Malay, some ethnic Indian, some Kadazans, Bidayus, Orang Aslis, and I really didn't get the chance to learn that much of East Malaysia's cultures or whatever, because I haven't been there yet. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't been to East Malaysia yet all my life. Yeah, so far. Not all my life, but so far. And yeah, I just think it's amazing how we are like a melting pot of cultures and which brings down to the food. 
we have amazing cuisine here. We have Malay, Chinese, Indian food, and we have Mamak food, which is a mixture of Malay and Indian food together. And we also have some cuisine that is exclusive to Malaysia. So we have some local Eurasian cuisine and Peranakan cuisine that you can't find anywhere else in the world, trust me. Except maybe Singapore, but just remember guys, Singapore is so close to us. So whatever we have here, they probably have that. Peranakan food is basically like a mixture of Malay and Chinese food, but there is pork used in the cuisine. And it's basically from a time when the Malays and the Chinese intermarried and the Chinese kept their culture, blended in with the Malays and then they made their own cuisine. And my grandma is a Peranakan, so I technically am a quarter Peranakan. The next fact is that our food is really really worth it, it's really value for money. Like you can go to McDonald's, get a burger and fries for $5.99, a vegetarian burger though. Like, Okay, I don't think it's available anymore, but it was available earlier this year for $5.99 and you can get 5 pieces of sushi for that same price. Whereas when I went to Singapore, you couldn't do that. Like, A burger was like $3.99, one piece of sushi was also $3.99. Yeah, that's what I really love about my country is how like affordable the food is. And a lot of you guys know I'm vegetarian, so you're like, Rain, how can you enjoy Malaysian food when you're vegetarian? Oh, um, I'm sorry guys, I always eat baked beans kind of food. No, I don't, okay? In this city where I'm living, there are over 150 vegetarian restaurants. There are 75 vegan restaurants and by the way, this city has, okay, not this city, but this area where I'm living, okay, the Klang Valley, and there are over 3,000 vegetarian and vegan friendly establishments, and they are official, like, they have vegetarian sections, and so far, based on all the restaurants I've been to over the past year, 99% of them can make vegetarian food for you. So there is no shortage of vegetarian or vegan food in Malaysia at all because I've been to Malacca, I've been to Johor, I've been to Penang, I've been to Ipoh, I've been to Pahang and there's vegetarian food everywhere. This situation was so different in China like when I went to China they were like oh vegetarian means you can eat prawns right? I'm like what? So now it's time for the Q and A. What language does it? So now it's time for the Q and A to Malaysian. So the first question is for someone from the USA, and it's like, what languages do you guys speak? Well, we all speak Bahasa Malaysia and English, obviously, and we speak our mother tongues. For me, I can speak English, Malay, Mandarin, and Hokkien. Um, soy habla espanol, but just a bit only, not a lot. Like, I know how to say baño is toilet, aeropuerto is airport. Um, I know how to say, like, amigos, amigas, all that. I know masculine and feminine, fe uh, masculine and feminine, gender, that's pretty much it. I don't really know that much, because I only did Spanish for one year. And, yeah. So, this guy from Korea asked me do you like to watch K-drama in Malaysia? I love K-drama like I watch K-drama often I love this really old K-drama series from 2015 my mother-in-law is a daughter-in-law it was on set 1 HD I don't have Astro anymore though so I can't watch that I can only watch it on Netflix now and set 1 is not available on Enjoy or Hip TV oh wait, it's not Hip TV anymore it's Unify TV um, yeah. So this guy from Mexico asks, "Do Malaysians speak Spanish?" Soy habla español, but I just habla a bit of español only, very very little. Grade six Spanish. That's pretty much it. Basic stuff. I can ask for directions. I can ask best the baño, but yeah. I'm not going to be able to order food in Spanish, seriously. 
Um, I think that marks the end of the Q&A session because I only posted the form a few hours before I'm filming this video. I don't know why I'm so dumb. So, and here's a form where I asked for the opinion of people from Mal on Malaysia when they came here for the very first time. So, yeah, this is an anonymous responder and they say that Malaysia, they thought that Malaysia would be very orthodox, rigid, um, they thought that we would have a really weird attitude towards expats, but they were wrong. I'm going to quote, okay? But I was wrong. Malaysia is truly Asia. I have always felt at home here. Lovely food, lovely mix of cultures, helpful people, amazing places to spend time with friends and family. Um, they say that Malaysia is the best always. So yeah, that's just an opinion from one person. Because once again, I sent out the survey too late. I sent it out one hour before I was going to do the video. Just, I was really busy the whole day today. I was actually doing a chemistry presentation the whole day today. So I really... Now I'm only recording this vlog for Merdeka Day, which is going to be the day that I upload this video. So if you guys love that, don't forget to leave a like, turn on notifications, and subscribe to my channel. Happy Independence Day, Selamat Hari Merdeka, Kuo Ching Ren Kuai Le. And yeah, comment down below what you think about my American slash Canadian accent. Cause I think honestly it's just horrible and it doesn't sound anything like the real thing. 